I think the first thing to say is that we had a very productive meeting. I reached out. Uh, George and I had a meeting in Las Vegas today that was productive. Um, I thought and we thought it was very important to keep the lines of communication open in the spirit of Sacramento. If anything productive is going to happen, you have to be able to communicate and we did that today. And we agreed to have a, converse, a follow up conversation uh, early next week. Can you tell us a little bit? Did you I thought it was really important to kind of have an honest and frank discussion, and I thought we were able to do that, reestablish communication. We didn't get into the principle, the core principles of the deal. You know, that wasn't what it was about today. It was really us just sitting down face to face and talking about the possibilities. And uh, I felt very good. And I felt, I felt again, we had a very productive meeting. It was a solid step forward. Enough that we're going to sit down and or continue to have a conversation early next week. Can you really, really, you really, you really, you really down? Wait, wait, sorry. Can you reopen the wait, 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 I'm going to go here and I'll go here. Go. Do you feel any more optimistic about a solution now than you did a couple weeks ago? I feel, I feel like we're communicating and I feel like there's nothing new at this point. Meaning I felt like our position has always been very clear. I felt like their position over time became something I didn't realize. But today in sitting down, I understood a little bit different where his perspective was. Not that um, that I fully agreed with it, but it was important to understand his perspective, which I did. What, what and, did then, and then I think, it's, it's just the stuff that I've heard over the last week or two that I did not know before. Yeah. Um, so again, with that said, we felt it was important to take a step forward and continue to talk. In terms of your question uh, about reopening negotiate, what we said we're going to do is just have a follow-up conversation early next week and then determine where we go from there. Did you guys agree to call off the dog? Say it again. More optimistic, less optimistic. You know me, I'm one of those, those people. I'm a fighter and I'm hopeful and I want to try to create an opportunity that's good for Sacramento. And when you're not talking, that's very difficult um, to determine whether you can get there or not. What was your question? Did you guys agree to call off the dogs, the VR machine? Um, I think when we sat down, it was important for us to establish that, at least from my standpoint, it's not about he said, she said. That's not productive. And I can't look at the Maloos and their family as part of a problem. They have to be viewed as part of a solution. And that is really what my mindset was today. And again, I think we both walked away feeling really good about the meeting we had today. No, I don't I don't feel that's what today was about. You know, again, the, the core principles of the deal, we didn't really get into. It was really about having a dialogue, discussing where we are, and potentially where we can go. And I think the air was cleared. I think we felt very good. I had a very good relationship with George, Joe, and, and Gavin the whole way through. And I think we were able to get back on track from that standpoint and to have a, a conversation next week. And that, that right there is something that um, was an outcome I was hoping to have, and I think we achieved that. How much you understand their perspective better? Could you elaborate? No, I mean, it's all the things you guys have been writing about the last couple of weeks. We've always felt we had a deal. They felt they had a different scenario. They felt the numbers were aggressive for AG and NBA. And those were all things I just, you know, he told them to me today in my face. I responded. But again, that wasn't what it was about today. It was about, look, you've been committed to this community for many years. Sacramento loves you. Sacramento loves you. And if there's a way to make this darn thing happen, then if it makes sense for us to keep talking, let's do that. And that was it. It wasn't substantive in any sense. You, feel more optimistic? You, got, you guys are asking me the same do question. Like wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Snake. Let me get my question out. All right, sorry. Or my comment at least. I can't answer the question any more different. I don't have anything new to say, but I'll let you ask and you ask and now I'm done. Go ahead. What about the to look for new owners? Is the search for new owners off the table right now? I think, you know, what I, what I said a couple days ago, plan A is can we make this deal work? Plan B is if they decide not to be here or don't want to go forward, then we got to do plan B, which is look at and exploring building the facility with or without them. But today wasn't really about plan A or plan B. Today was about does it make sense for us to keep talking? And we both agreed it did. And that was it. All the other scenarios weren't really important today. We'll have to explore all those if we can't make something happen in our plan A, which is a downtown facility, which was very important. So you feel more optimistic that they genuinely want to stay? Um, I feel like, again, I've said this time and time again, 
I've got to take them at face value. And George communicated today something that he said publicly in the last week or two is that he preferred to be in Sacramento. And that was the premise that we continue to have a conversation on. And that was the premise that led us to saying, you know what, let's have a follow-up conversation right, early next week. Who initiated your conversation? We've got some very special guests out on the floor, executive director of the Rex Foundation, Sandy Toka. Uh, got Is that the last question? The one and only Hall of Famer, Bill. Go ahead, go ahead. I think that they, they have a couple options. You know, they could file for relocation. They could say they don't want to be here. That's not what they said. And I don't feel like I or we can do anything productive if we're not having a conversation at this point. And at some point in the very new future, which is what we said all along, we're not going to be able to make the 2015 season if we don't resolve this arena issue very, very soon. That's just the reality. The clock is ticking. Right now, it's already going to be difficult. So Monday or Tuesday, Tuesday when we talk, we've got to make a determination, do we want to try to make plan A happen? And I don't know what the answer is going to be yet, but we said we're going to have that conversation early next week. What is that deadline to make 2015? I don't know what the hard deadline is. I can't imagine us going longer than another week or two. I just can't imagine that scenario. And quite honestly, I don't know if we can even make it today. That's what we want to find out. You know, when is the drop dead deadline to be able to have everything in place to be able to make 2050? I don't know that answer. That's what the next couple of weeks is really about for all of us. Just you two today or were there other people there in the meeting? I'm not going to get into any of the specifics of who initiated the meeting, and I'm, and I'm not going to get into who was in the meeting. I'll just say today it was a very productive meeting that I feel very good about in terms of moving forward. Uh, we said we're going to talk early next week, so I don't know more than that. George and I will communicate early next week. Did you get the impression that you're okay with having to be back and discussing something? He always saying not having you in discussions with the president. I didn't ever feel that was real. I think everybody was emotional. Everybody was frustrated. As I said earlier, I've had a very good relationship with all three of the brothers um, over the you know, last five or ten years. So that wasn't a real issue.